Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. Hello again everyone and welcome back, it's another episode, day 2 of Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked. I know I usually do a bit of a ramble at the start of the day before actually logging in, but I think what I'm going to start doing from now is moving that ramble segment into our burbs and herbs. So we're going to go do some burbs and herbs while I ramble, and hopefully it doesn't make me too inefficient about it. Clicked that a few seconds early, but oh well, here we go. Let's get on down to business. Why don't we? Dink, 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 dink. That's an empty glory. We don't want an empty one. Not four spades. Come on. Rune pouch. Is that good? I don't think we actually need... No, we do need water runes to get to Hardy for now. Okay, I think that's everything we need. A dig site pendant as well. Oh, we already had one. Let's go ahead and start with the birds. I'm praying that the strawberries we planted haven't died because the plan today is to go finish off the Hardy Diary. So, fingers crossed they lived. I did put Ultra Compost on them. There's a chance they died still, but I mean, come on. We're just, we're praying they lived and then we should be able to whack out the rest of the diary easy enough. And from there, a couple of quests to work on our rune crafting. I'm not too worried about Alkin this season as well, for what it's worth. I'll do it as and when I can, but I'm not gonna like crowd my inventory of Alks while I'm doing farm runs and stuff, because it's already pretty busy. I think I'm just gonna start by going over to Drano. That's Lestra Seed, that's 72k, that's very nice. Let's go. Seven nests and a Celestra Seed, very good birdhouse run. Just gonna get rid of all this so I actually have some invent space. I think that's a completely fine way to do it. So yeah, the plan is Ardy Diary. Into the Abyss after that. Which is only a short quest, so we may get to the one after that even, probably. Although I don't think we'll get to the Lumbridge Diary today. We'll probably be right at the cusp of it. Making sure I get that double tick time on these herbs as well. See, I'm harvesting two at a time. If you spam click it, for those who don't know, like, if you spam click it and get the timing right, it will pick two at once. Which, of course, every tick matters here on one hour limit locked. I think this is actually the longer way to run. I should have gone around the outside. That was a mistake, but as long as the strawberries have... I think we've got them. I don't know if they've loaded in properly yet. It looks like they're okay. Oh, prayers be answered. Yeah, so we'll have to make that run again anyway. We'll have the cape after this. It's kind of an annoying place. Let me go over there. It's kind of an annoying place as well. Maybe it's just because it's so long. But we will clean and note these at the leprechaun as soon as we're done. Okay, I only have to harvest one, so that is all I am going to harvest. But let's go over to Camelot. Energy is looking kind of low, to be honest. Should maybe bought a dueling ring. Can we use any balloon? Because if so, then it's probably better to use the one here, right? Should I just do that while I'm here? I have to go to the bank for a U log though. But I won't mind a couple energy pots as well. I feel like that's the move. We don't need our water runes anymore. Probably would have been quicker to grapple, but I don't know if we have the agility level, so. Oh, we do. I should have definitely grappled. So I'm thinking there's one in Tavoli, right? Then I don't have to bank mash it to go to Intrana. Oi, star boys! It's a fucking party here! Wonder if Low Life 109's in there somewhere. Where am I actually going? Where am I actually going? Over here. I completely forgot what I was doing there for a second. 
Castle walls, thank you very much. Okay, I'll move the farm run. Glad we crossed that one off there now. This 34 farming. I have to say, we are getting a very decent yield on these herbs. I was expecting it to be a lot worse given the fact that our farming level was so low, but if we get like nine renars from every patch, that's fucking insane. I mean, we are using Ultra Compost and Magic Secutors, but we still have such a low farming level, I would have expected it to be way worse. Oh no, these ones died. Gonna happen here and there, but that is a cut into those profits. <laughs> so this first run of both the birds and herbs have taken us about 10 minutes, but we are gonna cut that down. The whole purpose we're doing at the RD Diary and the Lumbridge Diary is to cut that time down. Both of them will save us time from running to the herb patches from teleports. We'll just be teleporting right there to them instead, pretty much. And also we will have that balloon thing in the middle of it again. You know, that was a one-time thing. No, the decent amount of Renars there, though. Making sure to clean them all, because clean oneself uh, slightly more. I'm probably going to Yanil next. We can't do that one yet. Watchtower, I guess. Should have probably just gone to... Nightmare zone, but okay time to actually get on with today's tasks. We should have a very decent bit of profit though Each one of those patches makes us about 35 40k depending on how many we get though we did lose 22k on the one that died which is unfortunate. What I want to do here is just bank the farming stuff, but keep all teleports on me that I might possibly need before we jump over the wall, let's claim our sand. Excellent. Excellent. I should have totally pickpocket the master farmer when I was running to the spot earlier. That was a mistake. I didn't realise that was a task. I literally ran right past the master farmer when I was going to the strawberry patch. Just gonna have to run back up to him now. It's not too far at least. It's only like halfway to the patch. Then we just got a couple fairy rings to do. BIS and AIR, I think. Yeah. Okay, we're all done with the RD Diary. Time to go claim our reward. I think I actually want to put the reward on Slayer, but we're not high enough Slayer level. We need 40 to be able to put it on Slayer. At that point, we probably don't want a lamp it anyway. I mean, I could just whack it on Rune. Oh no, I can't whack it on Runecraft, and it's 40. More than 40. Probably defense, to be honest. The important thing is we have that kit, we can now teleport straight to that patch. Where are we putting this? Don't know yet. We're gonna go do Enter the Abyss. What do we need? Let's go to Edgeville. I hope we can bank this. If we can, that's all good, I just don't have to worry about it. We can't! No. Okay, we need to decide what to do with this. Oh, fuck. <sighs> Slaps on defense. Okay. Talk to the Zami Mage. Oh, not the room pouch, fuck me! That would have been bad. I mean, we would have probably kept it as our protected item, but still. I don't want to risk shit like that, I don't know what the rules are. Oh, so now I'm going to Barak. He literally just told me to go there straight away. I thought we had to, like, actually have a conversation, but he was just like, fuck off. I probably should have brought Alks. What am I talking about? I just went into the wilderness. I did nothing wrong. I'm always second guessing myself, that's what this, this series has done to me. There's just always a little voice in the back of my head saying, but couldn't you have done something better? Couldn't you have made a better use of your time? Okay, so we can do this one. Said to draw in the wizard's tower. I guess I'll do... Guardian. Oh no, I can't teleport to Guardians of the Rift, can I? I don't actually know if I can. No, you have to have done the quest. Okay. So let's just go to the RD one next. So I don't have my Draymond on me. I hope that works and I don't have to do it in a specific order. Because if it didn't, that's annoying. Right, more teleports as well. I'm just going to grab more. Okay, passage to the wizard's tower. <laughs> that was a task for the easy Lumbridge and... Wait, have I not done the easy Lumbridge and Drainer Diary yet? Is that the one that I'm trying to do? I'm so confused now. Do I have to do the medium and the easy? Shit! I've got to do two diaries still. I didn't even realise. I still need to do the easy. And we never even finished off the follow door one. I thought we did. Holy shit. Okay, well, that's that quest done at least. Why don't we go do the Lumbridge easy? 
before we go any further. We did need five runecraft in for that, so that's why I hadn't done it. Okay. Lap of Drainer. Okay, we'll start there. Oh, we got a small uh, rune essence pouch. How nice. Yeah, and it is the medium diary that we need to get the teleports to the farming patch. So we do need both easy and medium. I just checked it. I feel like we may as well finish off the Fardor one as well. We were like right at the end of it, right? I'm going to have to check that. Okay, I've got my combat gear. We look like a menace. I would say we look great right now, but the black full helmet is kind of throwing it off a little. I can't lie. Let's have it, you prick. I got shredded. Okay. Cave bug, craft water runes, cook bread. Well, we don't have lumber. No, we do. There's like five different tasks that are very close to each other here. I'm just trying to find hands. Tell us our rage, buddy. Nice chatting to you. We don't have any essence. We've got a lantern. We want some flour and a bucket of water. Don't drop the bucket, you idiot. Make some bread dough. Alright, I'm gonna go to the G8. Nice. Grab a water talisman, a tiara, um, and like, what, five pure essence, ten pure essence, whatever. Okay, we're gonna go to Lumbridge. We are going to run down here. Oh, please don't tell me I need a rope to get down here. I'm gonna need a rope to get down here, ah. I fucking hate myself. I might already be on attached, I'm not sure. I feel like we did a quest down here with the goblins or something. I'm just trusting the process. Okay, oh, I was hoping that would get us a level as well. Didn't quite get us there. So I bought the tiara. So we want to stand before the wall beast and then move past it by running. And smoke this prick. Prick being smoked. Guess we can bank combat gear now. Save for an energy. Quite substantially, there's a lot of gear there. Okay, what else do we need? We need a pickaxe, a rune axe, a tinderbox. Lovely stuff. Alcarid. Should have brought a dueling ring as well. Where the fuck do you fish? Uh, down there. I probably should have done that first. Okay, we need new glory. We don't have any. Almost done with this first diary though. Epic. We got the medium done. While we are in Alcarid, I'm just going to check if there's any thin on here. Slayer tasks from child are catch essence, travel to a wizard's tower via fairy ring, uh, Alcarid rooftop, and grapple the river lum. We can do that as well. We could do the rooftop course and then grapple at the end. This is my least favourite course because of how the roof removal works here. Or doesn't work. I've just never got a fucking clue what I'm doing when I'm here. Okay, what's that one done? Is Goethe Zanaris one of them? Oh no, that's the Slayer Task one. Okay, I'm going to close that for now though, because we do need the Runecraft level still anyway. And it looks like we will have to go and finish off our previous Slayer Task, which I think was Aberrant Spectres? Banshees. Okay, that makes more sense. I don't think we can kill Aberrant Spectres. Okay, we're going to put this... Oh, we can't even put that on Runecraft in. That fucking sucks. Or oh, Slayer. We have to have at least 30. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Slapping everything on defense right now. We need 75 and it's a bitch to train. Okay, what's the next plan? It is Path of Gluffery is the next plan. So why don't we go to the GE, get ourselves some backup glories. I don't know how we're doing for wealths and dueling as well. Wealth, we're kind of low on. Dueling, we're okay, but we could do a couple more. Let's just get five wealths, well, four, glory, four of them too, and then dueling, we'll have ten of them. Well, nothing's fine. Just gonna get one glory at premium and leave the rest in. Lovely stuff. Wait, no, this was not the right one. Eyes of Gluffery is what I wanted to do. <laughs> Maple logs. I fucking hate this quest, but it gives us a fair bit of runecraft in XP. And it's better than the alternative by a very small margin. Right, should we get our elks? Is there anything else we need to buy while we're here? We can sell our stuff. Never mind buying. 
We've got all 43, well, 300k right there. And we need to grind these down. Uh, we don't want that. We want this. We want a dueling ring and some stamina. And there was something else. Oh, Celestra Seed. We needed to sell the Celestra Seed. I'll be some extra profit as well when that comes through. And I'll put... I'll buy some more Renar Seeds, because... We're keeping this farm going for the rest of the series, so... But I'm just buying them bit by bit, because they are expensive, so I can't really afford to fully invest, like, a lot of money in them. So, two day at a time seems like a good balance for now. Right! Okay, that might not be enough in the space. We are going to the Tree Gnome Stronghold. Don't think we'll actually finish this quest today, because it is a bit of a piss take. Depends how long the machine thing takes us. Which I guess also depends on how helpful rune light is. There are cutscenes as well. You have to like drop items and ask him to get more. Oh, we have to go to Hazelmere. That's a pain. Wait, I didn't bring my Draymond rookie error. May as well get an energy reset. Actually, while we're at it, let's just hop over to... Because we're at a fairy ring right now. Wait, wasn't that a task? To go to the Wizards Guild? I'm so confused. Maybe I already had it, it just wasn't ticked off. <laughs> oh, I'm such an idiot. Thinking I'm being smart and actually just wasting a ton of ticks. Why does my man live around so many spiders? Well, that was unnecessarily long. Wait, did he just give me a Violet Pentagon? Or did I get that somewhere else? Right, come on, Rune Light. I'm counting on you to make this quick for me. I forgot there was another cutscene. Okay, now we want to, like, drop everything. Talk to him. Drop everything. Talk to him. Drop everything. Okay, that might be enough. Okay, red square. We need an orange circle. Gosh. Oh. And a red circle. Another red circle. Is it not going to tell me what to put where? Oh, it does when I pick them. I don't know what I need, though. I ain't got a clue. Violet circle, red circle, orange pentagon, orange circle, indigo square. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Bop. Oh, no. We have to talk to him first. Isn't there one in the... I thought there was one in the other. In the village. In the tree gnome village. I don't know. We should be able to get a couple more tasks done from the Lumbridge Diary. In fact, how did we even start this? I swear we needed 10 rune crafting. Maybe that was for something different that I decided not to do. That was why I wanted to lamp it though, because I thought we needed it. As long as we can make lava runes at the end of this, that's all I care about, which I think is level 23. What? I just killed it. What happened? I can literally see his bones there. What's going on? The fuck? There we go. Let's go. So oh, I didn't mean to do that ladder. Okay, we got to 24 rune crafting, which I believe means we can make lavas. I'm actually just gonna go make this into a crystal saw. I can't imagine we'll ever need a crystal saw, but if we do, it saves me going back there. Or all I've got it in my invent right now. Lavas 23, perfect. So we need some talismans from the GE. I'm gonna go get a reset from the dueling ring first. That's the wrong one. Oh, we need to do that slayer task one. I forgot about that. Cool. Got ourselves a crystal saw. Got the reset. Actually, what is there to do for that follow door easy? I swear we have like one task left. Should we just crack that out? Or is it just the blur right limbs? I bet it is, isn't it? It's literally just the blur right limbs. Okay. Did we actually get the blur right? No. So we need a pickaxe. I'm going to go do this and then do a birdhouse run. Oh, we just sold our Renars. So one day of Renar weeds pays for a day and a half of Renar seeds. No. Sorry. Pays for three days of Renar seeds, basically. Where the fuck are we going? Mud skipper point. Yeah. 12 seeds is about 220k, which is two days worth. And we got about 340k, I think, for one day's worth. Basically, it's sick profit. It's just hard to see it when you've only done one run. I don't, like, have the profit to show yet, but it will start building. Trust. Trust in the process. Okay, follow door. Do not fuck it up this time. Wait, oh, we need to spell it first. 
Okay, no holding space bar, click the blue. Thank fuck. So you birdasses out to level 59 hunter. Still a fair few levels from that. Just want to check, I think a lot of mahogany is, so we should probably top up. Excellent. And there's the Falador easy diary done for a little bit extra defense XP. We actually got a level out of all the defense boosting we've done today. Isn't that nice? Let's go get ourselves an energy reset and pop in to the island of fossils. Not many mahoganies left. That's what I'm concerned about. There's 56 on her. Okay, a few more seed nests there. Actually, just gonna head over to Drainer and do a quick little pickpocket of Martin for a task here. Thank you very much. We don't really need the rake, but we do want the rest of this stuff. And we do want four more of them. And this and this. Camelot, we don't need RD. We've got Lumbridge, Fortis. I think we're good. I'm gonna run up to the herb patch. And we can start tomorrow off by doing herbs, then birds. Should still probably get two bird houses in total. So, yeah, it's been a pretty good day. We got three different diaries done today the RD medium, the Lumbridge easy. A strange plant just appeared next to me. And the Falador easy. We just finished off there as well. So, we've just got the Lumbridge medium to go which isn't too bad. We've done like half of it already, just passively. We've got to get some salmon, craft a coif, finish our current slayer task and get one from Chaldar, which shouldn't be too bad. What did we say it was? It was, we, we barely had any left. Banshees, 11 out of 28. Yeah, I think when I did them, I was trying to get to a specific level. So I did like Twisted Banshees or something, whatever the upgraded version is. But we could just go do regular ones to quickly finish that off and then get the task from Chaildar. Catching Essence or Eclectic Implant is piss easy. Craft Lava Runes is piss easy. So yeah, these are all very quick. We've just got to go finish that Slay task off, which should take five minutes at most. So we'll have Lumbridge and Drainer done tomorrow as well which will mean we're all done with setting up our farm runs we don't have anything else that we need to worry about after that we can move on to that actual progress on the combat stats which is the thing that really matters the most on this account which is likely going to begin with legends quest we we hadn't finished it we barely done any of it and there's a 120k up for grabs uh, like i said i'm probably going to split that between attack and defense so that i can get both of those levels up to something where I can wear better gear before I do my training. And then I guess we've got a couple more quests to do and a bit of money to make before I really want to start training training those combat skills. Because I really would rather have the brimstone and the fury before I start doing that, as I've mentioned. But yeah, it's been a solid day. We got 50k XP, which isn't bad at all. That's fairly decent. It's much better than yesterday. Granted, yesterday we had a lot of upkeep just for returning, but 16, uh, sorry, 12k defense we've gained, 7k rune crafting, all the way up to 24 from 1, 16k magic, both from Alkin and from Eyes of Glove request that we did. A little bit of farming XP as well as a level there, and some hunter. Decent, decent progress on a tiny bit of woodcutting XP from the eyes of Gluffer as well isn't terrible. Will help us out when we're going for our Legends quest next. I think that about wraps up today though. Really good start. We've already cut out the travel time to this patch tomorrow. So our farm run should be relatively quick. All we've got to do from here is teleport straight to the Arctic farm. They're all very close to where we're teleporting. So it should be a good start to the day tomorrow. I reckon seven minutes might be my estimate to finish my herb run and my birdhouses from where we're starting off here. Let's see if I actually manage to do that. Until then though, make sure you hit that like button and the subscribe if you haven't already so you see all my future content, including daily one hour limit locked as I do it. It's always a lot of fun doing this series and it's been fun to see the hype from people so thank you everyone who left a comment on the first video and everyone who was tuned in and, and watching and enjoying the show i appreciate it 
it means a lot having you all here with me again for season three and i'm super excited for what we're gonna get into it's definitely gonna be a spicy season with lots of varied content and things that are less regimented feeling than season two so that's gonna be nice and yeah i won't witter on it any longer look after yourselves be lovely to one another and i'll see you on the next one <laughs>